good afternoon, everybody. Is everybody ready for a little nap? Um, I've got a bunch of stuff to go through, so I've got plenty of things to put you to sleep, so I'll step right on it here. All right, so uh, probably some of you, most of you are probably somewhat familiar with image pyramids and use of uh, their use in image processing. So I'll briefly kind of go through some of this stuff here. But basically, they're multi-scale representations of the image uh, in decreasing uh, resolution. And they originally started out sometimes uh, used for early GPUs for MIT mapping. Um, the simplest is a Gaussian pyramid, and on the left here you see an, an example where you've basically taken the image, you're subsampling it in a way that's Nyquist frequency uh, friendly until you get down to lower, lower resolutions. And the Laplacian version of it is on the right, basically that has difference planes. So let's talk really briefly about that. So the Gaussian image pyramid is you're basically you're blurring, subsampling, blurring, subsampling. And so you've got all the reduction in, in resolutions. It was used, as I mentioned, in early GPUs where you wanted to do zoom in on things, but you didn't want to have the, uh, the, the problems with aliasing as you started to do it. And you can use these for low-pass filters for image blurring. Now the Laplacian, Laplacian uh, version of it starts with a Gaussian pyramid, but what it does is it adds difference planes to it. So basically, as you, you generate a Gaussian, and then starting from the bottom up, you upsample and then subtract from the corresponding resolution. And so these leaves you with difference planes all the way up the pyramid. And what these things do is uh, these things can allow you basically get frequency isolation at different spatial resolutions. Now the lowest resolution, of course, is unsubtracted. Um, basically that represents the DC component of the image. And the original image can be completely reconstructed from a Laplacian pyramid. Starting from the lowest pyramid, you upsample, do it, uh, basically then add the differences into it, and then upsample it again, add the next differences. And with that, you can reconstruct the actual image. And for that reason, you can think of this as a multi-frequency representation of the image itself. <clears throat> so here's an example of the Laplacian uh, image filter. Now this is computed in a YUV space, a chroma luma space. Uh, zero differences in this one are mapped to gray because you've got positive and minus differences, so gray is neutral. Notice how edges come down through here. And a sharp edge is going to have a multi-frequency com uh, comp components to it in the spatial in the frequency domain, and so you can see how uh, basically edges get propagated through. You can use this, since uh, a Laplacian is used as edge detection, you can use this then to track edges and find them at lower resolutions where you're more computationally efficient. <clears throat> 